What is going on beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as mental illness and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how your toxic partner or being in a toxic relationship with a narcissistic person could be holding you back from reaching your potential. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. So I'm a diagnosed narcissist and one of my pet peeves is when I go in uh, comment sections of a glow up video after a toxic relationship and people in the comment section say things like, well, if you'd have looked that way during the relationship, maybe y'all would have lasted longer. Maybe if you would have worked out while y'all were together, they would have treated you better. My thoughts are that maybe if they would have treated you better, you would have felt more comfortable working out, working out around them. Maybe that toxic person was holding them back from their glow up. Maybe they wanted to go to the gym, but got made to feel uncomfortable or got accused of cheating every time they stepped outside the house. Narcissistic toxic people tend to project their own insecurities onto their partners and tend to hold their partners back from achieving their goals and dreams. Because if you out, if you overachieve and leave the narcissist behind, they feel like they are worthless. They, their insecurities are bubbling to the surface. No real narcissistic person wants you to do better than them unless they're a bum. So to me, those glow up journeys after a toxic relationship make sense because that narcissistic toxic person could have been holding you back. Welcome back, folks. I am in the car. One more video getting prepped to go to uh, Sydney, Australia in a couple of days. So haven't been to my office. Got to be there tomorrow. So your toxic partner could be holding you back. Like I said, that's one of my pet peeves, y'all. I see a lot. Of, I see a lot of glow up videos on TikTok and Instagram um, about how people get out of toxic relationships and they, they have these glow ups where they get their body right. They get, they get their body in shape. They start eating better. They start going back to the gym, going to church, whatever. They find spiritual awakening. It's not even just a physical glow up. They have a mental, emotional glow up. And so many people in the comment section are like, well, maybe if you would have stayed in shape or went to church, maybe your relationship wouldn't have fell apart. Maybe your boyfriend or your girlfriend wouldn't have cheated on you. Maybe your husband wouldn't have left you. You see what I'm saying? That's the dynamic that people, a lot of people get. You, you sit in the comment section, I'm like, look, a lot of times people don't glow up until after these relationships. It's because they feel like they're getting held back by the toxicity in the relationship. The toxic person makes them feel insecure or always accuses them of cheating and things like that. Makes you they argue and fuss and fight every time you go out with your friends. They, they, they fuss and fight every time you try to go to the gym and work out. They fuss and fight when you try to ride the Peloton at home. They fuss and fight when you try to duck. Uh, it's always an argument or an accusation or something. You get hit or beat up or something like that. Domestic violence is real. The threat of getting hit and beat up keeps people in the house. Has people, quote unquote, fall off, stop chasing their goals and dreams and start neglecting themselves because you, you uh, typically a lot of people in these, in these types of relationships start neglecting themselves because they try to make the toxic person happy. You put the toxic person, but you put the toxic person's needs above your own and you start neglecting yourself and you start losing yourself. It's, it's damn near inevitable when that starts to happen, y'all, You because in these types of relationships. You lose yourself. You just do. And a lot of people will say, I lost myself. I don't recognize myself anymore. I'm not the same person I was when I first got into this relationship. You know what I mean? It just happens, y'all. And it's not me saying that it's, it, you can you can recover from it. That's why you see when people get out of these toxic relationships, they feel free. They feel like a weight has been lifted off of them. They, they've been wearing a, a hundred pound book bag of toxicity and they lose that hundred pounds book bag of toxicity. Then you feel free. You feel lighter. You Yeah, it, it might hurt when the relationship ends, but now you on your glow up. And then you on your you know, like your boss up journey, get fix your credit, get your bag up, that, that type of journey right there. You mean that is that is wildness. It really, really is. That's the dynamic that a lot of people face in these in these toxic relationships. That you get held back. You like I know I know a lot of people stay in toxic relationships because of the potential that that narcissistic person has shown them. You base your relationship on the potential that that narcissist has shown you, right? But you lose out on your potential. Holding on to somebody else's potential, somebody else's potential means you could be missing out on yours. You could be wasting your own potential. You could be losing your own self because you give so much in the in these types of relationships, it's never going to be equal give and take. Equal give and receive. You're going to give a lot more than you receive. You just have you just are. Maybe not in the beginning, which is why you know that they have the potential to be great. They have the potential to treat you good. So they treated you better in the beginning than they are right now. The relationship has gradually went downhill or it fell off a cliff. <laughs> some, some of these types of relationships fall off a cliff. They don't just gradually go downhill. They fall off a damn cliff and they hit rock bottom really quickly. You know, but because it was so intense at first, a lot of people hold on to that, hold on to them. And they, you know, mm, sorry, 
a lot of people hold on to the toxic relationships and things like that because the potential exists for them to treat you better. What if they do get better, though, Lee? I don't want them treating anybody else better. I don't want them doing this. I don't want them doing that. I'm just telling you, y'all, what means more to you? A lot of times people, start, you start giving them more value than you give yourself. You neglect yourself. You treat them good, but you start neglecting yourself. It happens time and time again, y'all. It just does. And I tell this to a lot of people. It happens. To, it keeps happening. It's going to keep happening until somebody puts an end to it. Until somebody puts a stop to it. You have to start t taking care of yourself better while you're in these toxic relationships, y'all. Sorry, y'all. Camera uh, was overheated. <laughs> I got to get out of this car. But seriously, y'all, how much longer do you have to give to this person? How much more are you willing to give? You got X amount of years, X amount of months involved in these relationships already. How much time are you willing to give this person to believe in their dreams or whatnot? Because a lot of times when you have your stuff together and you take time to build somebody else up, that person, when they get built up, they leave your ass. They take all the resources and all the education, all the money, all the finances, all the businesses that you have helped, that you have, they've helped you build up, that you've helped them build up. They take that and leave you. So they take you, you bank on that potential and then somebody else reaps the rewards of your, of you holding on to the potential of this relationship for you hold on to the, to the potential that this narcissistic person has shown you for you hold on to the potential of, of, of them regaining your love and affection and stuff like that. So do not lose your, do not waste your own potential and hold yourself back for too long. y'all. You get one life to live. There is no reset button. On life, you don't get the oh damn, I wasted ten years. Let me let me let me. You don't get the. It's not a your life is not a damn PlayStation or Super Nintendo game or regular Nintendo. You don't get the. You know how the reg, old regular Nintendos used to work. You push the button, uh, you blow the cartridge out. You, if your game starts messing up, no matter how far you got in the game, you gotta take the cartridge out and blow it out and help it uh, and put it back in and hope it works. That's not how life works. Your life is not an NES. Your life is not in a Nintendo. You cannot blow out. You cannot take out your life, blow out the cartridge and the cartridge and start over. You cannot do that, y'all. That does not exist. You have to be. I'm just saying. You have to empower yourself because oh, you're gonna oh, y'all, you're gonna waste your life. You're gonna waste your life. Be like, what, but I love them so much, y'all. Sometimes love is not enough. I'm gonna keep it, keep it hot with y'all. I'm gonna keep it real hot, uncensored with y'all, real quick. Love is not enough. Love's not going to pay your bills. Love's not going to get you through the hard times. And love, y'all, the struggle love, the tough love, it's not it, y'all. I know you see somebody, well, we made it through 15 affairs and six domestic violence incidences and f and three restraining orders. And look at us. We back together stronger than ever with a black eye the whole goddamn time, y'all. Struggle love is not better than normal love. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? I know you see a lot of people selling it. What, Christian Rock and Blueface are here. Oh, I want that Christian Rock Blueface love. You can go get that shit if you want to. That's that ridiculous, stupid love right there. That's a, I, I don't know, y'all. But anyways, don't wait, miss, miss out on your potential trying to hold on to theirs. That's what I, that's all I got to say, y'all. Anyway, I'm going to cut this thing short, y'all. I got to get out of this car. Like and subscribe for more. And as always, mental illness is out. Peace.